Alrighty, hello once again, Internet. We are coming back in for another Cosbox stream. We're going to be jumping back into Scar World again here in a little bit. Um, giving everybody a couple minutes, and of course, Sunny wants to come up and say hi, so <laughs> we'll get the introduction with the puppy out of the way. Come on up here, buddy. Come on up. Yeah! We'll get the usual introductions with the puppy out of the way. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> he is all excited. He got to go for a walk today. We finally got some snow melting, so we could you know, go running around out there. Um, couldn't get too far, because there's still a lot of snow cover in the sidewalks. Uh, but he got to do that, and then we were doing some playing. So he has been super busy today. Whoa, you got to settle down there, buddy. Settle down. Oh. <laughs> I told you, your butt's going to fall off there. You're getting too big to jump in my lap. No, no, we're not fighting. We're not fighting. Settle down. This is stream time. This is not fight time. You got to cool it. No, quit your chewing. Quit your chewing. You be good. There you go. Calm down. Good boy. What are you doing? Are you saying hi to the internet, folks? They see you up there. You say hi? Oh, <laughs> that doesn't mean type on the keyboard, buddy. <laughs> you are going nuts here. Oh, you are going crazy, dog. Okay, we're, we're going to have to give you a chewy, aren't we? Yeah, we gotta give you a chewy so you settle down. Can you come sit? Sit down here. Sit down here. I think you're gonna be a little too crazy to get too much of an introduction out of the way here. Let's get you a chewy. There you go. Go hop on your bed. Go hop on your bed. Where'd you go? Nope, he's right under my chair. Okay. <laughs> we'll let him be there. He's going to chill out and do his thing. Alrighty, let's go ahead and switch back into the Minecraft view here. And uh, you may not recognize in here, I don't show this too often. Uh, this is the very top floor of my... Uh, of the station here for Fort Alice. Um, I still need to do the interior for this place, and I not sure what to do for all the floors I've got. There's several floors going going through here. Uh, and you know, there'd be some administration offices, like the station master, um, the porter master, th that sort of thing would, uh, would all, you know, those people would have offices and a lot of logistical stuff would probably be on the upper levels. Uh, and this being Fort Alice, the, the Fort Commander would need a place. I don't know if they'd necessarily be in the station. They'd probably have their own command post somewhere but i don't think we the the state that i'm building this place in it's a little bit earlier in the development so i might just stick them up there for the time being um so yeah so i need to build some administration offices but there'd also be like little shops and that sort of thing in here um you know the stuff that travelers would need uh, of course i have all the librarians this is much bigger than it would actually be um but of course there would have been this being a british railway there would have been an asia uh, w H. smiths um there that's you know kind of where <laughs> they always were set up at all the stations uh, but you know just made that the perfect spot for the uh, the librarians to to hang out with so and, you know and kept it within the historical context so oh, i thought that that worked out quite well but anyway we are going to carry on down here oh right um i'm going to i, I did do the floor uh, so I did change this. I thought this looked like something that a, uh, oh, hi, Koopa, how's it going? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I thought this looked like the type of floor that a Victorian era station would probably put down where they'd think this would look super fancy. Um, and actually in modern day, uh, Victorian London station, uh, they, they have this kind of section, you know, set up in the, in the floor. It's not the entire thing. There's just some smaller sections of it, but I figured, what the heck, let's let's go for broke. Just fill the thing in. Um, it brightens up the room a little bit more. Obviously, i got to get the torch spam out of here. I, I'm going to fill this in more uh, with some things. I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, so the torches are just to keep the mobs out for the time being. Um, but yeah, so still need to come up with some ideas for things to, to put on the inside of the station and where we want to stick them. Uh, so a couple of things to play around with here. Um... Uh, that may be something I'm looking for, because we've got a, uh, a stream day coming up for Scar World next weekend. I'm looking for ideas for what to do. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that I need to do around my base, but there's a bunch of little stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a, a bunch of little things that, that need to get done. And, uh, yeah, I'd, it, they're just all around. And not all of them have I been you know super inspired to do. 
Um, yeah, the, you know, the train area is definitely huge. <laughs> Let me go on up here. And, uh, yeah, you can see. Now, not all of this would be the actual, you know, just the trains going. Uh, there is also military facilities and things that would be going on, and I haven't built all of those up just yet. They'll be on the other side here um, where I haven't filled in. So I'm going to build up some of the, those sort of things. There's also going to be the barracks, uh, which are south of the portal. I did flatten out that area. I've started building up the wall around here, which I think is what I might focus on just for today while I kind of, you know, chill out. We'll see what's going on there. Hey, David, how's it going? So, yeah, so I'm going to put up a couple of barracks areas in here, and I figure this would be, uh, you know, where I'll store my villagers that aren't set up for, tra uh, for trading. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this that is a uh, that's been a while since it's been just a, a couple of trains. My built uh, my entire Bercy area where I've touched on it now spans a five by five map grid. Um, now not all of those have I filled in. Obviously, there's a couple over here that are mostly just water, and in you know up there where it's just entirely water. But as far as the area is concerned that it's built through, yeah, the place is enormous at this stage. It's just gotten ridiculous. Uh, I do need to still put a roof on the giant iron farm out the back. I need to decide on the design for it. I, I mean. Victorian era roofs are hard. They're, they're really complicated and fancy and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Pardon me while I grab a quick drink of tea here. Ah. Sorry, I got an ice cube there. I apologize if the crunch was, was too much. Oh, right. I also, um, I've started with some stream safe music, so I want to go ahead and get that going. You guys got to let me know if this gets too loud uh, or if we need to do some adjustments here. We would change the tone. I've got it set to the metal station right now. That just seems to be, you know, just the, the feel of it. That I Honestly, I'm more of a classic rock guy myself, but there's not a lot of those on there that are both stream safe and YouTube safe. And I want to make sure that I can keep it so I can keep uploading my uh, stream recordings to YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, once you throw those two uh, filters on there, there's just not a whole lot. Uh, the metal station at least seems like it's got quite a bit th that I can play with there. So we'll, we'll run through with those. But, yeah, let me know if that needs to adjust. We need, need to play some things out. And hopefully that kind of improves things a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I like the stuff that, that you know, gets the blood pumping a little bit more. It keeps you, you awake. You know, while you're gaming, you should be alert and active and, and doing things, even if it is just kind of a chill place. Uh, you know, you, you're just kind of hanging out here. But yeah, so you can see the sections with the wall that I've been working on, and it's not that well defined right now just because the sections where it is are only one block wide. That space in between there is going to be filled in once it's done. I haven't done so yet because I'm still deciding on the height. i got to um, even that out with the terrain, and you'll see kind of as we go through uh, you know, where exactly everything lays out to. Uh, so, you know, just playing around with, with different things uh, but yeah it finally started going through uh this area has been better terraformed i need to go through and do a massive upgrade on the map oh and i did have the uh the, the sort of alien world jungle uh <laughs> on the other side here uh, the the grove which is where this base is supposed to be uh coming out of it's supposed to be an alien world so it's l very lush and active um, with all kinds of crazy plant life that's actually a lot more dangerous than a lot of the animal life. Um, certain things from Earth having, you know, been, you know, gone across the portals over the years, uh, when, it, when they've come through, they are naturally reoccurring events. Uh, but there's also a lot of just alien plant life and just weird stuff that you don't see on Earth. So I've got all the nether trees on here, and I particularly got inspired to build this base because of those. Hi, buddy, you coming back? <laughs> Sonny's coming back to say hi again. What are you doing? I gave you your chew stick and you ate that already, didn't ya? Did you finish your chew stick? You want another one? Alright, we'll give you another one, but we're not going to do this all night. I can't be giving you chew sticks all night. You're going to wear them out. There you go. <laughs> you go do your thing. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, and then, like I said, then I've uh, just started adding in the chorus fruits. I figured those would look good because they're, they're weird. Uh, and, and that's kind of what I was going for. You, you're supposed to have a bunch of weird plants that you wouldn't see 
you know, normally on Earth or anywhere else. Um, it's supposed to look foreign and odd and, and out of place. Uh, so hopefully it, it, it fits that pretty well. And, and I really want the place to look kind of overgrown. Uh, you know, this was naturally either a plains or birch forest in the back here. And you'll see where the birch trees are, um, where that all kind of lays through. So I've just grown up a variety of trees and just started throwing those down. I want to get more jungle trees, but I got to get jungle saplings. And they're a pain to get a hold of, uh, unless you have a farm, and I have not set up a tree farm. Um, I might have to rebuild the one that I did last season. Uh, th that one can grow jungle trees. It can handle oak, uh, birch, and jungle. Uh, so I can get get all those. Um, but yeah, it's... It's a big thing, and I don't know that I really have the proper space for it at this point. I might have to pick somewhere else to build it. Uh, a possible project to do for a stream at some point, but I'm not exactly sure, uh, because I would need to keep the uh, build tutorial up again, and I don't know how well that would work. Oh, dang it. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, what I wanted to do is get back over this way. We are going to need to get some more iron. Yeah, appropriate that we've got the metal station playing here. Um, and we also need some more stone bricks. I'm going to go ahead and dump off at least one stack of this scaffolding. There's a slot. We'll hang on to those for now. Eh, you know, actually, we'll, we'll dump the lanterns. I don't really need them. I like having some sort of light source on me just in case. Uh, but yeah, I don't have to, to have all of them on. Let's go get the iron first. Let's just clear out like a double chest worth. Uh, let's pop on in here. Oh, and real quick, I see one notification popping up. Give me just a second. Get that going. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. And let's just get some iron blocks going here. Yeah, I just have all this iron sitting in here. Um, not all of these are filled, but quite a bit of it is at this point. Um, that gives us six. Let's take like another half chest. Oh, this one. You know what? That's fine. That gives us enough, and then let me go get the rest filled with stone bricks. Honestly, stone bricks is most of what we need in here to, to kind of help fill things in. And of course, I have tons of stone, so it gives me somewhere to dump all this off to. <laughs> From, you know, digging and flattening the land out just makes that a lot easier to do. That's not what I meant. Come on. There we go. Yes, I am going to have to fill up on the stone bricks before I need to fill up on the iron. But the iron's a little bit more of a pain to craft, I think. Just because it requires so many more ingots to go through. Because you, you basically get to fill your inventory. Whereas that one, I can just go one for one. So not as big of a deal there. Alrighty. And how are we on this wall? We still got some space to fill in here. So let's go ahead and work on that. I'm just going to build it to this level for now. And we'll see how this goes. I don't really have a true plan for what I'm doing with a lot of this. Uh, there is some additional detailing that's going on for the outside. So it's not going to be just a plain iron and, and stone brick wall. Uh, it, 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 there is more detailing going on. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to fill this portion in real quick. 
and then we'll get over to the other side where I, I've got some more detail work going through. But this is the base uh, you know, work that, that needs to go down uh, to, to be able to get this set. So we'll, we'll get the overall structure set up, and then I can go through and do the detailing later. There we go. It's been a while since I've played Minecraft with music playing. I usually have other YouTube videos going on in the background that I'm also kind of paying attention to. Sonny, I can't click with you on my arm. You're going to throw me off. I need you to get down, please. you got to get down. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. But yeah, throwing the music in does add an extra element to things. It, you know, just, just something else, you know, extra stimulus that keeps you going a little bit here. I think it does help keep me a little bit focused. And hopefully it, it makes the stream a little bit more interesting. I know a lot of times I tend to not talk as quite as much when I'm concentrating on stuff. And that silence, could, I think, throws some people off. So hopefully this is this will help with that. Just gives a little bit of something else going on to keep the uh, the attention span. All right, we've got that section filled in. You can see where I went here. I don't know what to do to to reconcile this difference, um, just in how tall that particular bit of hill goes. And the, uh, then we also have the gateway with things coming in. This has to be tall enough for the trains to come in and out of, uh, which I've measured. This is good enough to, uh, for the, the heights for I'm building. Sonny, down! You have got to stop jumping on me. We're working on this. He keeps jumping up when I'm doing stuff, and I'm trying to get train him not to do that. There he goes. I think he's going to get some water. Uh, so, yeah, so the gateway is tall enough for the trains to be able to go in and out of, and then I figure I'll probably set up some sort of, like, big wooden gates. Uh, I might go iron. Actually, iron might be the better option to go through. Um, the, the idea is that the Grove has a bunch of crazy strong and, and just, you know, nutso critters. Um, it, it, it's, stuff. It, it's sort of like, uh, you know, uh, Conan Doyle's Lost World is kind of how the, the look and, and feel of it is. Um, so there's a lot of crazy stuff in there. I mean, there are actual dinosaurs that exist in the Grove, like like terrestrial dinosaurs. Uh, that is a real thing that happens there. But yeah, I think over here, I'll, I'll bring the tower up but then this portion, I'll just go ahead and let uh, be lower, and that'll be my main transitions. Uh, will be just the, the towers to kind of control the heights. Uh, mostly there for cornering when I, I need to make a sharp turn. And then I have them in a, a couple of positions, like along there, just where it would make sense where you'd need some sort of height for a watchtower. But you can see mostly there, I, I just throw down a tower section wherever there would be an awkward turn or, or like a tight 90 degree turn. And I fell on the side opposite where I wanted to go. So you can see this is what the detailing is going to look like once I actually get this set up. Uh, just gives it a little bit of extra texture so it doesn't quite look uh, you know, just so flat. Uh, you know, throws a little bit, a bit of depth to it. Uh, but I didn't want to do a ton of detailing, number one, because it's a wall. Um, it's it's meant to be sort of a you know, flat imposing piece um it's not meant to have you know the same kind of detailing you'd put out a building oh fell in a hole um but and, and then you'd also you wouldn't want to have it where somebody could climb up the wall uh the that kind of removes the defensive capabilities for it um but the two i just don't want to do that much work on a wall and, and repeat that out all the way this isn't bad so i i can handle the you know this level of work no problem um but yeah, this is the direction where I've been going here, and we've been building out going towards the barracks and where those are going to sit. So you can see where I had left off here before I started up the, uh, the stream. And uh, I don't have the wall sorted all the way up here. I've gotten to this point. And I'm going to do another swing around. I haven't quite figured out the angle yet. Um, I want to run it kind of like right along this hill. 
so it'd be tall enough where anything coming down from the hill this way wouldn't be able to get into the base and, and uh, you'd know, be able to, to manage the defended position. Uh, but it's probably not going to go too far over the hill. Uh, you'd want to make use of the hill itself as sort of a defensive position. Because, you know, th think about it, if somebody was going to attack the, the base or something like that, uh, some critter or whatever, it would have to come up over the hill, then go down here, and then try to breach the wall. Uh, you know, it, it'll be tall enough where you couldn't reasonably jump across to get in there. I mean, on Minecraft you can because you have rocks, rockets and you know, elytras and ender pearls and all that sort of thing, but we're talking how, how the Victorian era British and how things would work in the game line uh, that my base is built off of. And then the wall's going to go flat here, and I haven't quite worked out the transition over here yet, uh, but this mountain has been terraformed now. So I'm just going to bring the wall kind of right behind the iron farm. I don't know if I'm going to knock this portion down or just do, change the natural slope. Uh, this is the line I had to do just to make sure I don't get any, because that's the iron farm in there. I needed to make sure I don't have any iron golems spawning out here. Uh, so that's why I pushed it there. Uh, I want to push this hill back. Uh, I mean, I don't want this sharp cut off here. Uh, I will probably just taper that back, but I don't know if I'm just going to bring the wall up over and we'll do it there, or how that's going to sit just yet. Um, I haven't gotten that far, but we'll get there eventually. we got a little bit to go here. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and just jump on in to building up our wall. And this is mostly what I'm focused on doing today. I do need to figure out the spacing for the iron blocks. And my goal, I'm trying to keep it, because I'm doing that extra detailing on there, I'm trying to keep it for the most part where I've got three blocks between the iron. So it'd be like three stone and then an iron block. Uh, when you're going around the curves, you kind of have to play with that. I've got some room to do that. Uh, to, you know, just to, to mesh with that. Uh, no, Kubo, I have not built up to world height yet. Uh, my buildings aren't really that tall. I mean, the Victorian era British didn't build quite that tall. Um, well, they, they did in the cities, but this is, you know, it's kind of an area that, the, with the lore of it. It's still being uh, you know, built up. Um, <laughs> I hope I'd be poor. Well, you know, I have that massive iron farm over there, and that's where I've, you know, this has gone for a couple of months where I've been AFKing there. Uh, but I needed the that iron farm because, you know, I have how many frickin' anvils making up the train track uh, and how far that stretched out. Um, where to, Actually, let me... I got a second here. Where is the stats? Uh, we want times crafted. Where is it? Yes, I have over 9,000... 9,500 anvils... It, that have gone into my train track. Uh, you know, I haven't really crafted anvils for much of anything else. Oop, that's that's not it. We want to go one more here. So yes, the <laughs> so yes, my railroad has, it can make the Vegeta meme. The an number of anvils is over nine thousand. Um, <laughs> And I'm not that far off from 10,000 as far as my craft anvils are concerned, but I don't know that I need that much more for train tracks to go in. Uh, I think I've got most of that laid out fairly well. I think we're, you know, the, the place it's extended to now, I've got it where it's just going to kind of cut off into a tunnel, and I'm just going to leave the tunnel, I'll fill it with like black concrete, and that'll just sort of be going off into the void. Ah! No! No! Oh, I survived! Okay, we got plenty of dirt. I can fill that back in, no problem. Okay, let my health come down so I can recharge there. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Yep. Gotta get eat again here. We'll fill fill back up. Alrighty, cool. Back up to snuff. Oh, I hate when those things come wandering around. 
I said, fortunately, I have tons and tons and tons of grass. I have so much grass, I've been giving it away to people, uh, like, like in the sh by the shulker load. Uh, I have so much of this stuff from flattening this place out. It's ridiculous how many resources I've accumulated for that. But it's all very basic stuff, you know? Uh -huh. All right. And I don't know if this is going to lay out quite... Where they meet, they, they meet up in the middle. G3. I have gotten lucky so far where everything has met up and I don't have to do anything. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I did not plan any of these out. I just kind of plopped them down in the spot where it looked like it would work. Uh, wow. I have eyeballed th these three sections. This one, that one, and then the big long one over there. I've eyeballed every single section to, to you know, match it. And they all laid out perfect. That is awesome. And yet, totally just by luck. Oh, I still got a little bit of sand. Let's go throw the sand in there. Oh, my Elytra is about half gone here as well. We'll trade with the villagers in a little bit and repair that up. Anyway, let's go on and get this filled in. Just finishing off what I had there. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's been a fun place. I've been kind of... Not, not playing super serious on here for quite a while. Uh, you know, uh, just... You, you kind of get inspiration back and forth. And, uh, and, uh, well, and a lot of my work, of the, my time from this has gone to actually developing the RPG that this is based off of. Oh, I need to actually change those to iron blocks. There we go. I'll put that in. And yes, I see what you did there. I am no stranger to the puns. We're right on the cutting edge. Alrighty. Hmm, how do I want to build this one out? You know, let's just carry on here. We'll get this line built up, and we'll just kind of see where it gets out to. I'll have to remember to fill in that hole later. Sometime when I have another stack or two of grass in my hands. It happens more often than not when I'm running around in this space. All right. Let's get that laid out there. Okay. I like building up in layers of three just because that's the max of what you can reach. As far as full blocks are concerned. So that way I can just kind of stand on top and just carry on. And it also does give you a decent view of things as you're building up for, you know, from the ground up. To get an idea as far as the heights are concerned. At some point I still need to go back and take down the uh, the flying machines that I used on the last stream day. Uh, to, to get the river set up. I did fill in the water there for the most part. I think it looks fairly good. It definitely needs some more decoration and things going on there. Uh, to, you know, sort of, sort of terraform it. Um, it is just cut into the stone rather than being like dirt and that sort of thing. So I'll need to retexture the bottom of the river. But all minor details and stuff that's not readily visible. And like I said, I, there's so much work that needs to go into the base. It's not like I don't have things to do. It's just so much of it is little detail work. It's not, you know, I don't really have much more for big buildings to do, you know, to build up. Um... I got the, got the big impressive Victorian building there, uh, but I filled those spaces in over by the uh, the railroad. I just need to do the roof over there, uh, and all the other buildings I have to do are tiny by comparison. So I'll 
and I haven't really found much for inspiration for them. Uh, you know, part of the issue is you're looking for military bases. They're not that fancy. There's not a lot you can do to dress them up too much. I mean, a, a barracks is a barracks. Um, <laughs> there's not a whole lot that goes into it. For you know, the the military doesn't build things to be fancy. They build them to be cheap and functional. And you know, what's secure when you need it to. So. That's about the best that I can do, is make something look formidable. We'll see how that goes here. But yeah, how's the, the music going? Does that seem to be coming through okay for the stream? Do I need to turn it up, turn it down? Like I said, this is the first time I've used it, so I don't know how it's it's working there. Um, we'll just just kind of see it how it, how it does. Bit quiet. Yeah, I've only got it at like one percent, just because it's super loud in my headset. <laughs> um, let's bump it up here. Let's that's the other direction. We'll bump it to five percent, and hopefully, I don't have to. I don't end up yelling over it. <laughs> nope, that's a little too tall. Let's go from here. How's that doing for us? I don't think we're going to have much for the Minecraft sounds coming through. At least I'm not hearing much of them, but... That is okay. It's just the sound of blocks being placed. I don't know that there's going to be too much going on there. And, and the sound may play through differently for you guys on the stream than it does for me, you know, listening to it on my headset. Uh, so... As long as I can hear the creepers. Which I didn't hear the one weave with the music down at 1%, so I don't know that that's going to help me too much in the long run anyway. Alrighty. How we doing here? We'll pop off and we'll take a look after this uh, layer is done. And we'll see how this looks. And hopefully I don't run out of bricks before this run is finished. I don't think I will. Alrighty. Yeah, we just got a straight run here. And I don't think we got anything too ter- oh, apparently I did run out of bricks. That took up more than I thought it would. Well, we'll take advantage and do a quick span to see how this looks. This does look more complete. Definitely. Um, this is one of those things where it's just a kind of a mundane task and I've been putting it off. Uh, but it really does make the base area look you know, now that I, even with this portion, it's even though it's not done, I can see it coming through. And yeah, it definitely is going to make the area look a lot more complete. Um, you know, there, there's something going on. It's not just a blank canvas now. We're still good on iron blocks, so yeah, let's just go get some more stone. There's that. This should last a little bit longer, just because I don't have quite as many iron blocks in my inventory. I really hope they, that Mojang changes things as far as the bundles are concerned and makes those function better. Uh, <laughs> they are not going to help the inventory. I, I really don't think they are. I, I played a little bit with the snapshot with things, but, I mean, just look at how much inventory space you have and what I'm working on. Um, if my storage wasn't right here, if this was out farther, this would be a huge pain to deal with. Alright, there we go. Oop, 
did not mean to hit the scroll button there. There we are. And I think I slept recently, so hopefully the flap flaps aren't coming out after me. Let's see here. We're coming up on the hill. Oop, that one's iron. And now we're even with that level. So we do need to go taller to be able to reach over that hill. I think we'll be okay then. This particular tower, I think I'm going to end up building up taller. Uh, and make this more of like a central watchtower for the place. I think it makes sense that you would ha you want to have a nice high vantage point watchtower over the portal. That's kind of your primary resource. Um, I mean, they do have the four bunkers in the wall, which I need to redesign this down here. Um, I just kind of laid it out to, to get it started. Um, but that definitely needs some more going on for it. Um, but yeah, I think ha having a large central watchtower here would definitely make sense. So that one will probably go much taller than the others. The wall doesn't have to go up to that height. The wall needs to be tall enough that something here wouldn't be able to get in. And I don't think just the standard, like, three block height for Minecraft is sufficient uh, for what I'm going for. I think I probably want a minimum of five. Because, let's see, because this is one, two, three, four. This is four. And that still feels a little bit short for what I'm going for. I want it to be kind of big and imposing, so... I think a minimum of five blocks would be the target for any one section of the, the wall. Um, and, and this one I know already is going to need to get up higher. It's got to come up so they can level out with this one. This section over here, I don't know that I need to go too much taller with. Uh, this, I think, looks fairly big and imposing. I think I got like one... Well, a little bit of a layer over here just because I have this section where the, the terrain comes up, so I need to get this up higher. You know what, let's go on and work on that now. Change it up a little bit and keep things fresh here. Let's do a three layer here. Let's see how that does for us. Alrighty. And this music is maybe a little more hype than what fits for what I'm doing. But, you know, we'll roll with it. Hopefully it keeps the attention span going. Dang it. Wrong block. And maybe this will keep that bee in. The hive is like over on the other side of the wall. I don't know why he's wandering out this far. And there's flowers over there. So I, he has no reason to come out this far. Ah, that does go down. Okay, we'll have to deal with that. Ah, there we go. Alrighty. Let's see how we're doing. I think that looks sufficiently tall, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's good as far as maintaining the height here. This can go taller because there's the, the tower here, so that'll get up higher. 
This is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and for this section here, I think it's fine. Say, so yeah, I think five for a minimum block height is good. Now to build this all the way along here, I cannot land on this thing to save my life. See, I can't, why can't I land? There. So we got a tower here. I don't know that that section necessarily needs to go that far. Can I toss a tower in here just to help with the terrain uh, transition? Actually, right there, I think, is the perfect spot for it. Uh, I can make that work on the back side. It'll be a little bit awkward with the rocks here and keeping that clear for the railway, but I can make that work. I, I think I can figure that out. So if we kept it here, because it would go one, two, three, and then let's take that down. Oh. A little too much. There. So if I go... That would be here. Oop. We want the center to have the iron block. And I don't even know if I'm going to leave the center portion set up. Uh, th those I may just take out. Yeah, see, this will be... I'll have to build that going down into the rocks, but I can work with that. Four, five. And these were just done as a very quick and simple circle. And then how does that get me transitioned here? Let's take this down. This will refresh my stone brick supply a little bit here. Let's just take those out of there. So that'll be one, two, three. There's the iron there. Really have iron in the corners here too. Oh wait, no. Wrong thing. Iron there. So this is one. This will be two. It'll be three, four, five. And then we need to go one, two. Take that down. to here. I don't think it inter intersects at the perfect spot, but I think I can work with it. Let's take that down. And then that way I don't have to build it all the way up, spanning that whole gap. I can throw another tower in here. Then we can do the transition change. Transition change. Why th th that is redundant. Ah, uh, alrighty. Here we go. That I did for a terrain transition. Okay, I can integrate with that. That's fine. So I need to go one, two, one, two, one, two. Nope, I didn't mean to take that one out. Three. Four. 
and we'll replace the iron blocks in a minute here that need to go into those so there's one well, there's two and then it meets up okay yeah we can work with this I can make that happen This needs to be iron. This needs to be iron. Oh wait, am I... No, this is okay, I just have an extra block there. So we'll do that. That. Throw that in. That. Okay, cool. And that is like right at the edge for where the trains would be able to go. Honestly, that's probably a little too narrow, but we can work with it just as far as how it works visually in Minecraft. Alrighty. I think... I keep... Well, number one, I keep falling into here. Let's see if we can get this leveled off. I think that looks pretty good. And then we need to bring this up, and let's get this focused on so we can tell a little bit better visually what we're dealing with here. I'm not going to worry about the these inner ones just because I don't even know if I'm going to keep those there as far as the iron blocks are concerned. Uh-oh, we got flat flaps. Let's get out of here. Hopefully I don't have mobs by the caboose, and I can just crash in there for the night. Grab a drink while we sleep it off. Sorry, I had one alert pop up here. Apologize for that. There we go. Okay. And let's keep focusing on this now. So this will definitely help as far as the height transitions are concerned. We don't have to go super tall with this all the way across, just because I don't have a convenient transition point. Yeah, let's go up one more level here. This should go pretty quick. Oh, 
apologies for the quiet here. I'm just whipping through this as quick as I can. And then we can take a look and see what we've done. And I knew I needed one more level there. That's fine. Let's pop out this way. And Mumbo Reveal. Yeah! Yeah, I think that works. That looks like a good spot for it. And then this portion we can just keep level until we get to that tower. And then we'll run this one at the height we need to for this spot. I don't care if it runs tall in certain spaces. I just don't want it to have to run tall for the entire length. Uh, you know, they, like running tall to make it you know, for the right height out there and coming out this way is fine. I, you know, the, that's a decent enough straight run. I don't care. But having to do that all the way back up to there, that would have been a little bit ridiculous. Uh, I, I just don't think it would have made sense building material-wise to have it that tall coming off the ground. But it, you know, making it taller so that it's imposing for certain spots is fine. We're just looking to kind of even that out. Speaking of, I think I'm going to need, because I have a tower there, I might have to put another one in about here, so that way I don't have to worry about the transition that way. We'll play with that later. I'm not too concerned with it at the moment. I am concerned, however, about my Elytra. Let's go and get this healed up a bit. We'll get some of the new guys here. I have been gradually working on... Oh, I need to go get trading supplies, don't I? Um, I'm gradually working on getting villagers brought up to take care of my red dyes that I can dump off of just because the iron farm keeps producing the... Uh... That's not it. I've got red and white dyes have been my focus here. So it keeps producing all of the, uh, the, the flowers, whatever. I, I couldn't think of the flower name, uh, but uh, it keeps producing those. And, uh, you know, I don't really have a use for that much red dye. That's about all you can really do with it. That's right, I can trade more with you because this is taking more items. Used to trading with the pumpkin farmers. How's the elytra? Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do this for a bit. Let's go... You know what? Let's just... So we can keep going for the stream here. Pop that in. Let's just deal with the pumpkin farmers. Because they're one for one once they're traded up, so I have to carry fewer items. And this will heal up our tools, too. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I just keep having all these uh, these flowers showing up. I don't have any particular use for them. And, you know, you can bone meal them, but that's going to fill up eventually, too. And I don't have that much use for bone meal. I already have bones that, that come out of a farm. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm overloaded on the bone meal as well. So I figure, what the heck, I'll just get some, uh, you know, to, to finish off the traders in the, uh, the hotel here, I'll just go ahead and get some of the, uh, loom, uh, the, the weaver guys, whatever they're called, uh, the ones that use the loom, uh, and then, uh, they, cause they trade in dice, so it gives me something to sell it off. That was a way too long explanation for something that simple. I don't know why my brain's shutting off here. I've only been streaming for an hour. Not even. Alright. Let's get that in. Okay, good. We're healed up. We can carry on with the day. I guess it had been a while since I had healed up my Elytra. Let's dump those in there. So yeah, you can see how much I've been trading for a while. 
I've been busy. Why am I doing that the long way? And I don't know what I'm going to do with that cobblestone. We'll worry about that later. Alright, and I don't particularly feel like walking all the way down. Let's go up while we have the open window and just fly. Alrighty. Let's get this last level figured out here. Dump that there. <laughs> okay. So we're level across. I think we're good to call this wall done. We're going to build up the, wall, the tower walls higher. And I don't have walls in all of the... The transitions here. You know what? I might as well go ahead and dump that in. Let's just fill these in while we're here. I didn't figure out where the iron was going originally, so not all of these have the iron put into spots. The inner ones, I don't know if I'm going to keep there, so I'm not worried about those. But this at least gives me the visual cue to realize, hey, and I will do it on the straightaway. Yeah, hey, this is just for the visual cue for me looking at it at a glance to be able to tell. That's a tower. That's not just part of the rest of the wall. Let's go here. Dump that in. This I'll do just again for visuals. go okay and this is definitely gonna go up taller than this wall because this will be like the top of the walkway here I will probably throw some half slabs down I have not fully figured out how I'm setting this one up but I think if I just half slab the walkway Maybe I'll use stairs, so I can still get a full block on the outside. I don't know that I really want to set up crenellations. I think that's going to make it look too medieval. So I think I will just want it to look like a single lip. Oh, I didn't mean to hit a skip. I was just grabbing a drink. Just a second. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, I don't have that in the middle here either. Let's go in and throw the iron blocks down. Let's just go on and build this up. A layer. Again, for the visual to be able to say, hey, this is a tower when I'm looking at it. I don't know for sure what height I'm going to go to. This also needs the iron. I'll worry about filling in the rest of that later. I don't feel like climbing down just to get that one spot. I think I'm going to run out of iron blocks here. I have two left. Yep, we're out. Um, before I have to go back to the iron farm, I think I got a little more in here. Yes, I do. None in there, though. Alrighty. There's that. Okay, I'll leave that where it is. 
you're gonna want to shoot at me. You go on. Get out of here. We don't need that negativity in our lives. Ooh. Oh, it's a zombie. Okay. Zombies don't explode. We can deal with them. This is one of the nice things with building up a wall around my base, is that once I finish lighting the inside, I won't have mobs to deal with. And probably by the time I get done lighting, we're going to be moving on to the next season. Uh, just because that takes forever. At least I can light my base this time. My base last season was all in the desert and open, and there's no good way to light sand. There's just not. Um, <laughs> none, of, none of it ever looks right. Alright, how does this look for us? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think that's the first time I've seen a mob actually spawn on top of this. Alright, well nobody else is sleeping here, so... How many people are on? Not that many. Definitely nowhere near as many as we had when we started out. Nope, it's not going to let me do it. Okay. We gotta grab the other bed. We'll go to the one on the iron farm. Down in my little AFK spot here. Here we go. Alrighty. Up the pork shop and... You know what, while I'm here I ought to fill back up on iron blocks. Now that I think about it, let's go on and do that. Try and be efficient with our time. So that's how much iron has caught up and spawned just in the, the time that I've been here. And by here I mean have it, you know, been online and looking at it. But I've got iron going way the heck down there. Actually, I should update the torch. I was using the torch to gauge where my iron was. Just where it had filled up to. We need... Trying to get this where it'll land on an even stack. So I don't have ingots to worry about. I don't know that I'm going to make that work. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, fine. We'll just toss it in there. So this is where it was the last time I checked. And yeah, you can see... Those have fill almost filled up. It was just at the bottom there when I had checked it last time, so... But then I haven't been online and AFKing for quite a while. I haven't really needed to. There hasn't been any supplies I've needed that are, you know, AFKable. So I'm definitely going to want to build the height up more for the towers. I don't know how much just yet. I'm taking this down even though I'm... Pr Is that sufficient for here? Because this is the highest point I hear, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. 
Yeah, that's the highest point for this section of the wall, and it's tall enough for that, so we're good there. Okay, so we can tower those up. Now that one's already tall, so let's just focus on this one for the moment. And we need to fill this in. Get the iron filled in for that. Fill the iron in for this one. All right, so we're at wall height with this level here. Yeah, the central ones we're not too worried about for the iron. Plus it's a straightaway. So the straightaway I need the visual break up a little more. Let's go. Let's just do one layer of three to keep it above the wall level. Oh. Wrong block. Because we're still going to need to figure out the tops for this thing. I don't know if I'm going to make it put a roof on them or just leave them open. I'll probably leave them open. We'll play around with that in a bit here. I'd like to have a little bit more of the wall to work with. Oh, that one I do need to build up a little taller so that it's above that level. Okay, but that section of the wall is good. This one's going to need to be taller. And I'm probably going to have to build this up just so that it's tall enough for that. Let's go on over here. Let's put the one layer up on this one. What the heck is with this music? I think it's just trying to sound creepy. Kind of sounds like the one uh, drug addict robot in, in RoboCop. Which one was that? RoboCop 2? I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen those movies. There we go. So that stint's good, this stint's good, and this stint is good. I'm gonna need more rockets in a moment. Let's try and bring these so they're level. Let's go ahead and get my rocket open. And I left pumpkins in my inventory. We'll dump them off in a minute, I'm not worried about it right now. Let's get this even. I think it's insane how much the drummers can keep up the, the beat like that. Where they just rapid fire. And the, but like actually, you know, you, you could just rapid fire do that and, and 
you know, to do the drum roll and, and keep that going. But just how they can actually do it and keep a beat. And keep the harmonic sounding right. It's it's just crazy. Alright. Go here. That one needs to be iron. Yeah, this one's just weird sounding. Oh, I got an extra block in there. Hmm, and I think I'm off on this one. Because I was usually doing four blocks, so there was three blocks of transitioning out. <sighs> yeah, I need to move that over one. Let's go on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. Fortunately, it's not a full run, so... We should be okay. Come on. Just wish I'd realized before I built up quite as high. Couple more. It's getting easier as we go because the height's coming up to meet me. Okay, this is a really weird transition for this song. Okay, that's got us back on track. Come on. There, now we're even. Okay. Much better. My OCD brain d just feels better about that. Okay, so that's got us even. And where are we at from tallest point? I will probably throw some grass in there to even that out. So we're at one. We need to go up. Yeah, we'll throw grass up along there to cover up the dirt. Or should we? No, let's just... The heck with it. Let's just take the dirt out, and we'll just put actual bricks in there. Oop. Then in... So where the wall is, we're at two, so if we go up by three, we're good. We will be meeting the minimum height there. Excellent. It's less there, but that's on the tower, so we don't have to worry about that portion.
Hey! Skeletons. There he goes. Another one of these guys. Is that another one? Or did you just get a second shot off? I think you just got a second shot in there. Mr. Zombert's going to follow us along there, but he can't get to us, so we should be fine. You know something I just realized the other day? I still don't have netherite armor. As long as I've been playing on the server, I just never bothered with it. <laughs> you can see, yeah, my, my armor's still diamonds. Well, and the turtle helmet. I like having the turtle helmet, though. I like the, just the little bit extra for water breathing. Even though it's only good in specific applications, that comes into effect a lot. Especially if I decide to go out and explore. Alright, nobody's sleeping, so... Yeah, we're just gonna go to the iron farm and do that. Then we got iron blocks. We're good there, but we need some more stone bricks. Oh, and it'll be awesome once we get to the uh, the next update with all the grimstone and everything. Uh, having those different blocks to play with. I am really looking forward to some additional textures. Just building with stone and the, those, you know, the, the stuff you're mining with. We haven't really gotten an update since granite and andesite and, you know, of course, diorite. Um, but they're so limited, uh, you don't really have that much to break up a gray stone texture, or black for that matter. Uh, let's go dump the pumpkins off in here with the villagers. That's why it left it there because it was I saw the orange block and I just thought it was my rocket box okay let's go get some more stone to make stone bricks I hope they end up doing the uh, where they had like the tiles texture where it gives you like the extra small bricks it's like you got you've got these that, that look like you know your larger bricks but then you have like your your regular brick texture where that's just the the real small ones that make up the block, and that seems to be where the tiles came through. I really hope they do update bricks so that we have that, that sort of variation with it. Even if we didn't get stairs and slabs for all those, although that would be amazing uh, to be able to do it, but just to have some variation in the brick texture. Because, you know, not everything uses these giant bricks. Okay. So now we need to build this up to this level and then three higher. And that will make up our transition. Dang it. I keep scrolling when I don't mean to and not scrolling when I do mean to. See? Just like that. I suppose it's better than uh, before I found out this mouse does have a scroll lock. Then it was flying through like Mumbo's was for a while. Alrighty. 
Let's see if we need one more layer here to keep it even with the upper level. This is towards the center, so I don't care about the iron on there. Good, and then we need to go up three more just so it's taller than this one. Good, okay. So as far as the line for this is concerned, that's kind of how it's going to look, and I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. How tall is this section over here? This is four blocks tall, so we need to go up one more for this transition. That's pretty, that's a short section. Let's go on and get that done. I don't have all the detail. Can I make that? Uh, dang it. If I hadn't moved at the last second, I would have made it. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go up one more for this. So that way we're making the minimum height of five. We need to fill in the rest of this, don't we? Let's go on and get that done. Oh, I actually did fill in the iron. I think this is where I was figuring out how I wanted the iron to lay out, though. And that's for terraining. Oh, I can't dig rocks with a shovel. Well, I can, but it takes a while. Put it there. Okay, let's fill this in. Yeah, this will go pretty quick. But yeah, anyway, uh, I was talking about the, the new blocks th that were... We're coming up with so yeah i'm really excited to have those to play with uh, even though it's going to be a while uh, even after the new update comes out we still have to wait for mods and things before we move on to the next season but i've been thinking recently on what exactly i want to build for my next base you know just trying to, to get some inspiration for things and, and what can you play with like with this one this was the nether update where, where this came out and I got super excited for that because, uh, you know, I, was, I knew I was going to wanted to do this world uh, where I can use the alien trees and that sort of thing, you know, for the for the nether items to really fill that in and flesh out that, that sort of lost world area that's around here. And I'm going to do that in other spaces here, too, kind of terraforming around the base. So that is all still within the works. I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, that was the one section where I had kind of started experimenting with it. But yeah, so it, so it actually gives me some options to to really look with the, the alien plant life and, and see what that looks like. Uh, and then, of course, having the Blackstone that has made machines and that sort of thing, you know, like for the engines, 
made that work so much better, having actual stairs and slabs to be able to do those with. That means I need to push this up one more level. Let's go on and do that real quick, just so I don't forget. This will be a quick one. But yeah, I mean, I, there's no way I could do the, the trains and make them look right with the blocks I had before we had Blackstone. Uh, th that has really just kind of made those possible. Uh, I, I do kind of wish we had gotten copper with the, this update. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff with steampunk that I could do there and really make that that work well. Um, I mean, it is what it is. You can't control when things are updated, but it will be interesting to do. But yeah, like I said, I've been trying to think what exactly do I want to do for my next base. Um, what I'm leaning towards at this point, uh, I'm thinking I may actually do... What are, one of my favorite game storyline wise and everything is uh, Guilty Gear um, and Guilty Gear Strive is going to be coming out soon uh, but I've been hyped for that seeing the visuals there uh, I think I might do a base kind of based off of that there is the uh, the last game of Exer there, there's the Kingdoms of Illyria and those have they're kind of a mix of like medieval gothic architecture but there's also some modern elements built into it uh so I can work with a lot of the different block pilots and that sort of thing, it, it, just with the new items to be, to be able to fill that in. Um, I think that will give me a lot of uh, just visual interesting things. I don't have a lot of visual references to pull off of. They're really just fighting stages uh, to see. And there's a couple of cinematics for things. But uh, it, it's something to think about. So like I said, we got a while yet, but that's kind of where I'm leaning towards at this point. Pardon me while I hide right there. Okay. So. We now have the wall height figured out for at least this upper section. There we go. Spanning around here and then going over to there. I haven't gotten the, the watchtower yet. You know what, let's go on and get that done. Let's at least build it up to the height above this wall. And again, this one I think I'm going to build taller than the rest of them. So that it really can function as a watchtower. Because it really is very central to the base. And I think it just visually would make sense to have. Uh, visually and logistically. Oh good, somebody else is sleeping. I don't have to do it this time. Let's get this built up here. Try and whip through that quick. Okay, we're even and now we gotta go up three. And I'll leave it there for the time being. Like I said, I know this one's going to go taller eventually. Um, but I'm just going to kind of leave the, the towers open. Because I don't know how I want to finish those off yet. Uh, I don't know if I, how much taller than the rest of the wall I want to go with them on all the other spots. I think actually the three probably doesn't look that bad. Especially if I leave them open topped. Nope. Wrong block. Let's get that fixed. Dang it! Let's get that switch. There we go. And there you are. Okay. So we got the wall height figured out all the way there. I think I need to start trying to figure out how exactly I want to top these things. Oh, and I do need to do the interior portion of the wall. And I think I'm just going to kind of mirror what I have on the outside. I don't know if I'm going to do the extra details on the inside. You wouldn't necessarily need that for the fortifications. We'll see. 
but let's get the iron laid out so I know where it's going. Let's do... I think I had left that as a walkway in, but that was before I decided I was doing iron to break this up. There we go. And we'll throw some sort of light source in there eventually, just so I don't have mobs spawning inside. Once I go to top these. There we go. Alright, that looks good. This is gonna get weird. Because I gotta deal with the curve, and the curve doesn't directly map over. Let's break that up so I can get up here. And I also want this to look right here, so let's go like that. Let's do it there. One, two, three. Okay. This will work okay. Even though that's not directly across. The, the curves get weird. Yeah, and then we'll just do here. That I can work with. Okay. How are we doing on supplies? I think I'm going to have to fill this in without an issue. Oop. Wrong block. Iron's my limiting factor right now. We need to go up one more. I do kind of need to figure out how I want to do the extra detailing on the outside around the curves as well. I don't have that many curves, and I did that intentionally because... Trying to detail around curves with a wall is a pain in the butt. <laughs> this is not something that I'm trying to throw a whole lot of detail into. It's just something that thematically makes sense and is part of the base. And it gives me a good way to frame it. So you get you know, it's sort of a hard transition point from this is my base, this is where you know, other people are building. And like I said, I will probably do a little bit extra detailing as far as like terraforming that sort of thing around, at least in the territory that's mine. Um, this was uh, Dr. NS was over here. Um, I don't think they're playing on the server anymore at this point, so I don't think there should be an issue if I do a little bit of terraforming around here. And I don't think they'd particularly care either way. So we should be fine there. Um, let's go in and use up our iron blocks for what we've got here. Then I might have to go get some more. Pop another pork chop down. I don't think I got enough to finish this section off, but we'll get further here. So this will just empty out what I can from my inventory. Yeah, because I still get to go up one more level. Ooh, actually, I might have just enough to finish this off. Can't remember if there was five or four. I think there's five, so I'm going to need, like, one more block. 
I need one more iron block to be able to finish that up. That's fine. We'll we'll fill that in with stone and we'll deal with that later. Okay. We're good there. Let's go get some more iron. While we figure out what we're doing with the rest of this. Can I get up above? Yes, I can. I have enough momentum. If not, I would have just gone through the door. Alright, I think we've pretty much tapped that row. Sonny's sitting down here looking at himself. What are you doing, buddy? What you doing? You saying hi again? You come up to say hi? We'll take a puppy break. How you doing, Sonny? <laughs> you say hi to the people? They're up there. Can you say hi? <laughs> well, you're bumping the mouse, so you want to play? You want to play Minecraft? <laughs> they need more dogs in Minecraft, don't they? Yeah, we definitely need more dogs. I mean, we just need more dogs in general. You guys just make life better, don't ya? Don't ya? Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay. Let's get back to work here. Let's get some iron going. Oh, I already filled up. Let's get that crafted into blocks, then. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay have pay, gotta pay attention to the pop. Yeah, we're do, we're doing pretty good here, getting some stuff worked on. Like I said I still gotta figure out what exactly I'm gonna be doing for stream day next weekend. I just I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure stuff out. I might just had uh, have to keep working on this. I mean, I have my entire base to go around, so it's not like I don't have plenty of wall to work on. <laughs> if we can narrow down a spot, uh, maybe I'll just work on building up the uh, the display hall for all the stream torches. Sonny, where are you going? I see you under there. You can't. You you can't go under there. <laughs> you can't go up between my legs. Here he comes. What are you doing? <laughs> You can't get get my attention going there every time. <laughs> yeah, that could be good, cool to do a, some sort of collaborative build. I said we still I still want to get a better building put up to uh, display all the stream torches and everything in where we've done this. So maybe we can work on that. Um, the talk has been to to try and put something up around uh, spawn. So. Maybe we can focus on the, getting something like that done. Okay, Sunny, can you get down, please? Hop down, please. Thank you. I'd like to get back to the stream here. I know I love ya. I love you too. Come lay down. I, I know what he's doing. He wants more chewies. You want another chew stick, don't ya? There's your chewy. Go get your chewy. <laughs> So he's figured this out. Once I'm streaming, he's just going to bug me until he can get more chew sticks. Uh, let's go ahead and fill up here real fast. But you know what? Since I'm on the subject, let's take a swing over by spawn. My yeah, my leech is good. I got rockets. Yep, yeah, we're set there. Let's take a swing over there real quick. We're going to warp to my starter house. There we go. Oh, you know what? Let's go on and sleep real quick. So we got the daylight here. There we go. 
So, I'll, if you haven't seen my starter house, that that was it there. And uh, this was my first iron farm. <laughs> yeah, this was built the first week uh, of Scar World. Kind of went crazy at it. But, uh, yeah, there were some discussions for places on where we could put this thing near spawn. That is a super tall bamboo. What, what are we doing with this? That's crazy. Oh, was somebody just trying to go for build height there? So, there was talk about putting it right around the train station here. And I don't want to go too close. I want to make sure Janny still has space to move around if he decides to expand out a little more. And the path has been built out this way. This is actually pretty cool. I didn't know that this was done. I didn't realize people had gone through and done this. Um... Yeah, I found that out in my base last season. This was Scar's birthday, by the way. Uh, if we'd set this up. You know... What's this sign for? Ta oh, Tags has got something claimed there. Okay, so I don't necessarily want to do that. I think someone had mentioned doing something here, though. And yeah, this could maybe work. I don't think we need to go with something super big as far as the footprint is concerned. As long as we've got enough space inside to kind of do the displays, and then we can just do towers, and we'll just build it up higher. And then that would kind of have it built up from there. That actually could give it, it'd be kind of cool if we built something like a huge tower, and then we started doing the transitions there. I mean, right now we're doing the, using the community tree in the shopping district, but this could give us somewhere else to go just as another option. Build up like a huge tower and then do uh, like a, you, you got your meeting room up at the top. Uh, we could do something there. Maybe set something up sort of like the Avengers Tower where it's got the landing pad. Uh, like we saw in uh, it, you know, just the first Avengers movie. That could be really cool. Okay, so let's see, we got the river here, and it'd be nice to keep that. I think it would be cool if we did like a bridge that went across, so we can connect up to the path. So if we came up here, we'd have to, oh, ow, 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 there we go. We'd have to move some of the gardening here, but I think we can work around that. I don't think people would have too big of an issue with that, especially if we just kind of move it here. But then if we just did a path straight across, build a bridge that's got a little space around the uh, the station. I'll have to check with Janny, make sure he's okay with that. And then we build the bridge going over here flatten off the top of this maybe do like a little garden out front and then over here we could build up the tower maybe something that kind of looks like the tower b-dubs did in aquatown um, we'd have to pick a different design i think make it look maybe a little more futuristic but yeah that could look cool And then we'll just take build up uh, build up the dirt here, so that we kind of have the tower on the hill. That I think would look really awesome. I'll have to post that in the uh, if anybody from from Scar World is watching, I'm gonna post that in the uh, the Discord chat there. But 
Yeah, that I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, anyway, let's go head back to my warp point for the base. And let's keep working on this. I'm going to go up top so I can fly. Alrighty. Let's try and finish off the walls. Going around the rest of the areas where I've got the height worked out. Oh, this sounds very much like Guilty Gear music. You could drop this right in the middle of a match and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And that is one of the best parts of that game is just having the, the awesome music. I think I'm once it comes out and is available, I might have to actually get better at fighting games so I can stream it. I, I love it mostly for the story. I'm not that great at fighting games. I mean, I'm, I'm better than at the, the basic players, but I mean, I'm definitely not tournament good. I've tried playing in tournaments, and yeah, I just get creamed. Um, yeah, I get the... Why can I not pick that up? Oh, because I'm full on the bricks. That's fine. We'll get that worked out. Ah, okay, now we got another curve. This one I'm going to keep, I think. No, we're going to... So you still got the straightaway there. Come on. We'll keep it on the straightaway as far as we can, otherwise it looks weird. Oh, that works. That should actually work out quite well. I like it when I can keep it in the middle of these things. Because I really don't want the iron having two faces showing as much as I can avoid it. And that works. Okay, cool. Um, let's go there. Alrighty. This should be a quick wall to whip up there. And then we'll try and figure out the top for this thing. Just use the offhand here. Beautiful. Nah, dang it, wrong block. And I will probably be wrapping up at the around the two hour mark. Well, I can maybe go for a little bit longer. I'm not particularly tired or anything right now. My only real reason for wrapping would be to uh, get the discussion started on the uh, the Discord about the idea for 
doing the stream tower. But we'll worry about that later. We got time. We, we got a week to figure out what we're doing there. Okay. Lovely. That works. And then we just got to do this section here. This is another one that just sounds like st it's like straight out of Guilty Gear. Let's get the iron sections worked out here. And this is all straight shots, so it should be pretty easy. Trying to speed build the wall. Okay, we'll just go back and start up from here. You know, playing with this music on, I think Ash really is making me build faster. second I get him. Stress on the side job messaging me. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Fortunately, my side job actually managed to uh, make Twitch affiliates recently, so I've sent that over to the people who actually handle the money and uh, can actually get that set up. So it's nice to, to get an extra uh, revenue stream. Hopefully we'll have some new content coming out there. But yeah, now I'm just trying to get affiliate for my channel. I got the follower count. I just got to get the uh, average viewers and uh, stream enough. I'm not far off. So fingers crossed we can get that to happen. Alrighty. Dang it, wrong block. That's got us even perfect. We are good there. Let's go up and take a swing at this.
Awesome. Yeah, I think that's really going to help having that extra detailing once I get that spread all around. We'll get that brought around the, the outside edge. But yeah, that is... That's looking fantastic. I think we are doing great there. But yeah, that... Thinking about it more, I think I probably will end up wrapping it here at about the three hour, or not three hour, two hour mark. Uh, it is almost, well, it's past 11 o'clock now, so probably not a bad idea for me to call it on it eventually. But before I do, I got some extra blocks here. Let's take a look at what we can do to maybe finish this thing off. And let's just look at this short section up top here. Why did that rocket not go off for me? Oh, I'm going to need some of those, and let's convert one of you into this. Come on, fly. There we go. Okay. Oh, good. I have enough there. Okay. We'll work with that. Let's get... Because we're definitely going to want to put... Ooh. Do I want to slab over... Let's just do it for now. We'll figure out... No. Let's keep this exposed for now. So I know where the iron is on top. Because I definitely want to set up the walkways here. And you know what? Let's just go on real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to forget, and it's going to be a pain in the butt later. Let's just torch this. This should be enough. Just keep the mobs out of there. Okay. Fly. Come on. Why can't I fly now? Come on and land. There we go. I think I got enough slabs. But yeah, now I can set up the walkway. And this will really help when checking this out on the map. So that now I've got a little more thickness. It'll really help to find where that wall is. And I said it just... will help kind of frame the base for me. Hopefully I can grab both of those. Yes, I did. Got it. Okay. Let's get that put in. Excellent. We might have to go a little taller than this then, since I'm using a slab floor. That helps me for not having to light it up to spawn proof. Let's see what we can do with this. Maybe we'll just do an iron railing all the way across. Hmm. How do I want to cap this off? I just feel like it needs something there. Maybe we don't do slabs there. Maybe we do the stairs here. We'll do like upside down stairs. No, nope, that didn't work. Let's do that so I can get over here.
I may take these out later, but let's give that a try. How does that do for us? And then I can just put lamp posts up on here without necessarily having to light the whole thing. Because I don't mind lighting in spots where it you know, looks right, it makes sense. Yeah, but this needs something. This needs something for more of a defensive position. I think that makes sense to have a step up. What if... What if we do it as an iron grate across? Then that can go there. And that can go like that. That could work. How's it look from the outside? That looks pretty good. But I like that little variation that this adds in. So I need to put something up top. Whether I just put lamps up there, I don't have lamps on me. Lanterns. Let's go s grab some. I had a handful in here. I need to go buy some more off of my villagers. Where did I stick you guys? Come on, where did you go? There they are. Fly out here. And then that gives us the effect all the way down that gives us lighting. So these are all spawn proof. Throws that little bit of extra. It's still iron. It gives us that little bit of color variation. And it makes that wall pop, I think. Yes. That I think is good. I was wondering why there was a slime there. I forgot that was a swamp. Yes, I think that is the move. Ties together the iron going down. Yeah, I, I like that. I think that's good. And then that gives me something to throw some andesite into because I really love that the smooth andesite texture. I might do something different for the ones with the iron. I don't know if yet. We can play with that later, but that's an easy block swap. But honestly, even just that I think looks good. That lines it up. All right, perfect. Well, that hits us at the two hour mark, and I think that's pretty much accomplished what I was looking for with this stream. Uh, so that looks good. I hope everybody enjoyed. And uh, let's see who we've got on the raid here. Let me get myself in a safe zone. Pop into the safety spot. And let's see who is on to raid. If there is anyone on.
Just a second while I pop in there. Uh, let's go. I added a whole bunch of smaller streamers. So let's go with Aliphobic. Just to kind of help out my fellow streamers there. Alright, so we will go raid. I think I got the name spelled correctly there, right? Double yes, that should do it. Alright, we're sending the raid off. So, again, again, thanks for everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.